Now these two functions, let us compare which one is greater. So for this, I will apply log on both sides. So this is log of n power log n and this is log of 2 power root n. Now this power comes out by applying third formula. So this becomes log n into log n. So that power came this side, so that is log n and all that it is log n. And this power comes this side, so root n log 2 base 2. This is 1. Now what is this? Log square n and this is root n. Now which one is greater? If you are unable to judge it, still you can apply log. Directly I will write the answer. If I apply log, then this will become 2 log of log n. And this becomes, this is n power 1 by 2, right? So 1 by 2 log n. Now tell me, which one is the smaller? Log of log n is smaller than log n. Yes, this is smaller than that one. With applying log for one time, if you are unable to judge it, then you can apply log again and you can judge it. So here the thing is, we have to judge which one is smaller, which one is greater. So for making it easy, we are applying log. There is no rule, there is no formula. Right? Just apply logs so that you can reduce it and see and you can easily compare them. So here we one time applying, we were unable to do it, so we did it again. Again confusion is there, log square n may be greater than just root n because this is square. So just apply log one more time. So you got log of log n and that is just one log n. So log n is greater than log of log n. Now let us see who is greater. Two functions. Apply log. Log n into log of 2 base 2. This is 1. And this is root n log n. So what is the answer here? Just log n and this is root n log n. This is greater. So this is smaller. f of n is 2n, g of n is 3n. Which is smaller, which is greater? Both are equal. Both are equal. This 2 is ignorable, 3 is ignorable. When you take it asymptotically, big O of n, big O of n, or theta of n, or theta of n, both are same, both are equal. Both these functions are equal. Now, which function is greater? This looks smaller, this looks greater. Let us apply log. Log 2 power n, log 2 power 2n. So, this n comes this side, log 2 base 2, this is 1. And 2n comes this side, log 2 base 2, this is 1. Now, which is greater? Now don't say they are equal, don't say they are equal, we have applied log, then we are comparing them. Now I cannot say ignore that too, directly in the functions you can do that. Now for comparison purpose we already apply log, so you cannot strike away the coefficient. So this is 2n that is greater and this is smaller. So yes, this function is smaller, that function is greater. You can clearly see from here only. Now I have taken this example to make you understand after applying log, don't cut off coefficients. Don't cut off them. Right? In one of the example I did that, but that time I did not apply log. Now after applying log, I have changed the functions. Now if I cut off coefficient, it will be different answer. It will be a wrong answer. Directly from the functions, you can cut off coefficients. So applying log, this 2n is greater than n. So that is greater. Actually, this is 4 power n. This is 4 power n. And this is greater than this one. This example, let us compare two functions, g1 and g2, which one is greater. Now here, it is not a single expression. Here is n cube or n square. So for n value less than 100, it is n cube. After that, it is n square. So this is reducing. And this is n square up to 10,000. After that, this is n cube. If I take n values, let us say this is 100 and this is n and this is 10,000. Now, on this side, who is greater? 
this side less than 100 g1 is greater and from 100 to 10,000 who is greater because the figures are there so I have used this on the bar now from 100 to 10,000 who is greater see 100 to from 100 onwards this is just n square this is n square and below 10,000 also this is also n square so this is also n square so both are n square so g1 is equal to g2 here g1 was greater than g2 but beyond 10,000, beyond 10,000, so 10,000 is n squared only. After 10,000, this is n cube. So G2 is greater than G1. So this is still where? This is infinity. Now, who is greater? Which function is greater? G1 or G2? G2 is greater. Always. From what value of n? From 10,000 onwards, it's always greater. Before 10,000, they were changing their sides. Sometimes this was greater or they were equal. But from that point onwards, 10,000 onwards, always G2 is greater. So G2 is greater than G1. G2 is greater than G1. So remember this. So whenever you say some function is greater than another function, you don't have to take the small values of n. It can be from very large values of n also. But from that point, if it is always greater, then we consider that function as greater. Alright. We don't just check into smaller values and decide. For all values of n, we decide. Means up to infinity. So from 10,000 to infinity, there is no limit. There is no limit. So G2 is always greater than G1. Here somewhat asymptotic notations are given and comparison is there. So we have to find out whether these statements are true or false. Let us check. This is n plus k whole power m and if you open this binomial, right, two terms are there. So if you open this, it will be n power m. That is going to be a highest term. It is just like, for example, n plus 3 whole square. Then what is the highest term you get there? n square is the highest term. So if m is there as a power, so n power m is the highest term. So we can write this as theta of n square yes it is exactly theta of n square so this is theta of n power m yes correct this is correct then what about this one 2 power n plus 1 so this is 2 into 2 power n 2 into 2 power n coefficient is ignorable and it is theta of 2 power n also big O also omega also anything you can write so this is also correct big O is correct then let us take this one 2 raised to 2 n and this is 2 raised to n this is 4 power n and that is 2 power n 4 power n is greater than 2 power n power n cannot be an upper bound for this one from so it should be big O of 4 power n not 2 power n this is wrong the next this one this is root of log n this is log of log n which one is greater you apply log on both side and check it if you apply log you get what 1 by 2 log of log n there log of log of log n still more smaller so that cannot be an upper bound this is greater value that is a smaller value smaller value cannot be an upper bound okay, this one if i apply log on both sides so this will be log n into log n so that is log square n and that is just n so that n is greater so yes this is big o this is big o right so this is correct. So that's it. I have solved few problems using asymptotic notation so that you get the idea of what should be an approach for solving them. And you have some examples. These are the examples already. I have taken the example. These are from some exams, competitive exams. So if you get any type of question now, you will be able to solve it. If you have practiced this little bit, then you can solve any type of questions on asymptotic notation. So here we end first chapter of 
algorithms like uh, if you take any textbook then or any university syllabus the first chapter is about the algorithm their analysis and the asymptotic notation so we have finished this so in the next videos you will find the that is second chapter onwards that is we will look at the strategies that is divide and conquer and uh, grading method these strategies we will start